What is up, everyone? Today is Tuesday, which means that it's time for another live Q&A all about eBay and Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. As always, I'm your host, Paul J. Lipsky. So this is a chance for you and I to sit down. You can ask me any questions that you have, and I will do my very best to answer them. Anything related to making money online, if I have experience with it, I will answer the question for you as best as I can. Now, if you're here, go ahead and ask your question in the live chat. If you're not here, then subscribe to the channel and don't miss our next live Q&A. I do them every single week at 2 p.m. Eastern time. This week, we're an hour late because I had a prior obligation, so I'm sorry about that. But normally, we are at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Now, before we get into the questions, I do want to talk about something that I saw recently that's really exciting because this year, I've been talking a whole lot about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping because I really believe that it is the best opportunity to make money online as a complete beginner who has absolutely no experience with e-commerce or making money online or setting up stores online. If you have no experience with that, and even if you do have experience with that, I really think that Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is one of the best opportunities that you that I've, I've come across in years. And what, as soon as I saw this opportunity, I jumped on it because I knew based on experience, just based on years of doing this, that this was something unique. This is something that we haven't seen before. And because there are so few people doing it and literally billions of customers who are on Facebook it is a huge opportunity. So that's why I've been focusing a lot on this year and teaching it to my students and spending a lot of time with that as well. But Facebook has actually made it even better for us to drop ship on Facebook Marketplace, but for a very limited time period. I want to share with you what that is. So real quick, if you don't know what Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is, we are listing up products for sale on Facebook Marketplace, which is completely free to use. And we are not even buying those products up front. All we're doing is looking on Amazon, looking on Walmart for items we want to sell. There's a whole product research that goes into that. Once we find those items, we copy the photos, the description, all of that, paste it into a new listing on Facebook Marketplace. Then when someone buys it from us on Facebook Marketplace, we then buy it from Amazon or Walmart or wherever and have them ship it directly to the customer. So completely hands off. That's what allows me to run this business as a digital nomad traveling around the country full time in my camper van. Now, this is an amazing opportunity because it's just so simple to run this business. And Facebook has just given us an incentive to make us want to do this even more. So check this out. I logged in and you might be able to see this if you log into your Facebook Marketplace account. I saw it on my all listings page right there at the top. You see that list on Marketplace for a chance to win. So if we zoom in on that, it says list on Marketplace for a chance to win. Create new listings with shipping on July 26th, which was yesterday until August 1st, for a chance to win up to $1,000 cash, U.S. residents age 18 plus only. So what is with shipping? So when Facebook Marketplace first came around, um, the only you only had the ability to list items up for sale and sell them locally to people. So you would have to physically like, hey, I want to sell this hotspot. You would have to meet up with someone in person, hand it to them, and then they would hand you the cash for it. So that's no longer the case because Facebook now offers you the shipping option, which says that you could put on your listing that you are going to ship the items to your customers instead of hand delivering it. And that's what made drop shipping possible, this entire new model. That's why I said this is a new and unique opportunity. So if you start listing up items with the shipping option, you're eligible to win $1,000 cash. So if I looked, I looked at the rules, uh, it's kind of hard to see on here. But what you have to do is list up items with the shipping option in the back to school categories. So the back to school categories include clothing, shoes and accessories, electronics, baby products, toys and games, books, movies, and music and office supplies. And you get unlimited entries. So if you've been interested in listing up items, if you've been interested in starting Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, this is kind of a cool chance chance to do it. Do it now. And then if you're already doing Facebook Marketplace, this is kind of a good incentive to list up a bunch of items because the more you have listed up, the greater the chances are that you are going to win that thousand bucks. So just list up a bunch of items with a shipping option. Luckily with this model, it's pretty fast to list items up for sale. You mean all you're doing is copying and pasting and actually my software, my Chrome extension that I developed, We'll do that with just a click of one button for you. So very fast and you'll be entered to win. 
So if that interests you, if you are interested in learning about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, you're not sure where to begin, I actually have a free ebook for you. The first link in the description of this video, go ahead and click on that. You'll get access to, you'll get on a page where you can click the big blue button and enter in your email. And then I'll email you a free ebook all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And it's actually the first, pretty much the first two or three lessons of my course, because my course is not open for enrollment right now. So if you get that ebook, you'll get the first two or three lessons of the course, and it'll kind of give you a broad overview of how to do it. And then you can get started with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. So again, if you're interested, click the first link in the description, get that free Facebook Marketplace dropshipping ebook, and start listing up items because you could win up to $1,000. And there's other prizes of $100 prizes. So might as well. All right, let's see who's here. Uh, I think there's some comments that I missed here uh, from before the chat started. Uh, thumbs up, everyone, says Marjorie. Thanks for the reminder. Yep, guys, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. How do I handle returns physically? Well, luckily, returns are very easy with this business model. So the model that I described, we do that on both Facebook Marketplace and on eBay. When we're doing it on eBay, um, all we're doing is for returns is we contact the supplier like Amazon or Walmart. Or if we're doing wholesale, we'll contact the wholesale supplier and say, hey, we want to return the item. With the retail suppliers, they give us a prepaid return label that we can then download onto our computer and send it to the customer. And the customer just uses that to return the item. No cost to us. The retailer refunds us, we re refund the customer. With wholesale, it depends on the wholesale supplier. Some of them have different rules. Some of them do have free returns, and those are pretty rare. Um, either way, you work with them to return the item. And on Facebook Marketplace, there actually are no returns allowed. They do happen very rarely um, because, hey, if the customer gets the wrong item, I'm going to return. I'm going to let them return it. In that case, I just contact Walmart or Amazon and say, hey, I got the wrong item, send me a return label. I then give that return label to the customer on Facebook. They ship it back. I get a refund from Walmart or Amazon, and then I refund the customer on Facebook. Easy, you know, as a wash. Yes, this is an hour later than normal. I apologize to everyone for that. That shouldn't be the case going forward. <clears throat> Where in the world is Paul today? I am currently in Salt Lake City. Very hot here, but <clears throat> overall loving this area. Hey, Jameson, I'm having a great week. I hope your week is going great as well. Can I do drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace if I'm not in the USA? So the short answer to that is yes, you can. But um, I just so we try to be honest and transparent about this. I do not. I, I do live in the United States and I am a U.S. citizen. You know, I am based here in the United States. So I don't have the firsthand experience of what it's like to sell on like Facebook Marketplace or eBay.com from outside the United States as someone who doesn't live here. I have plenty of students who are doing it successfully, but I don't have that firsthand knowledge on how to do that. So I'm always hesitant to answer questions about how to do it because I've never actually done it myself. And I just want to be completely honest and transparent about that. Um, Paul has like nine VAs and probably 10 stores. How can he have a pet a week? <laughs> uh, how's your day going? Going great. Besides the heat, currently it's 90 degrees, but it feels hotter than that. Oh, I go live every Tuesday for you guys at 2 p.m. Oh, 2 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Going well, Wally. How are you doing? Um, Lauren says, are you getting good views on your Facebook Marketplace listings? I have like two products carrying my whole store. My, my new listings aren't getting too many views. How are your views? So you will often find this. So first I'll say my views are, are fine on Facebook Marketplace. There were some issues with it a couple of weeks ago where there is a bug with Facebook, where a lot of people weren't getting views on their items. I do know for a lot of people that's been fixed. It's been fixed for me. But in general, what I want to say is that you will find, especially as a new seller, that you will have one or two products that really carry your store for you. I noticed this when I first started selling on eBay, on Amazon, and on Facebook Marketplace. It's like, wow, those same items just keep selling over and over and over again. 
and have all these other items that just aren't selling. That's completely normal and that's okay. And as time goes on, you'll get more of those winning products. That's part of the process. Not a lot of people talk about that, but that is the reality. So expect it to happen. Expect to have maybe like 100 items listed and maybe only like five or six that really are selling over and over and over again, but that's all you need. If those items continue to sell, you're fine, you're good, and you're going to be adding more items and you're gonna get more of those winning products as well. That is normal, so don't don't get afraid if that does happen. Uh, okay, Abigail says, hey Paul, so glad to see you are live again. I have to update my address. It's only been a few months since I started selling. Should I call eBay to explain before something bad happens? Um, so Abigail. Um, I'm always nervous about changing my address um, on anywhere that I've sold, eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, but I've done it. And it hasn't been an issue when I've done it. Now, the reason it's a concern is because anytime your address changes, it makes them nervous, like eBay. Like, whoa, is someone, is this really Abigail coming in and changing her address? Or is someone doing something nefarious, like they're coming in <clears throat> and trying to scam Abigail by changing her address? You know, but as long as there are no other red flags, you should be fine. Like I said, I've changed my address. I've moved multiple times. I moved from, I, when I was living in New York, I moved like three times and then I moved to Florida and then I moved again and then again, I changed my address. So I've moved multiple times and it has never been an issue. As long as you don't have any other red flags and as long as your account is a few months old, you should be fine. But quite frankly, calling eBay is not going to help. You'll reach someone and they'll tell you, oh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. And really, they don't know. Uh, you know, the reps you talk to, they just don't have access to that sort of, uh, you know, they can't give you that kind of guarantee and really mean it. So I wouldn't even call. I think it's kind of a waste. Wouldn't help you. Thank you, Sean, for the reminder to hit that thumbs up button. Appreciate you, man. Omar, oh. Omar and Jay trolling every Facebook Marketplace dropshipping influencer. That's devastating. Jay, I thought I thought you just trolled me. I'm a little hurt, man. I'm a little hurt. <laughs> no, but it's cool. I appreciate the trolls, especially the, the good-spirited trolls like Omar and uh, Jay. Uh, David, what's up? If you have a product on Facebook Marketplace generating a lot of sales but has a low profit margin, would it hurt to increase the price? No. So that's a good strategy is go ahead and increase the price and see what happens. You know, your sales might slow down or they might not, or they might even increase. And you might be thinking, how could sales increase? Well, because the more expensive the item is, the more money Facebook makes. So maybe they will push that item. I'm not saying that's going to happen. You know, we don't exactly know how all these algorithms work, but we do know that these companies want to make money. So the more expensive the item is that you sell, the more money that Facebook makes. So logically, they would want to push items that are more expensive. So it doesn't hurt to try it. And if it doesn't work, then you can lower your price back down. Ugh. Johnny's talking about my, our other YouTube channel where I think I was caught dancing on there. Oh, wow. Philip, that's awesome. Hey, Paul, I just want to say thank you for all you do since I joined your Facebook Marketplace uh, Titans course. I now have a part-time weekly income. You're doing a great job. Philip, that is the ultimate, ultimate testimonial. That's like the, the, the best thing I could hear because that's why I do this for people like you. So thank you for sharing that with me. That's why I do this. I want to be able to help other people like you become you know, financially independent to create another stream of income and to hear that you're doing such a great job with it is awesome. And the fact that you were thanking me for that is amazing as well. So I really appreciate that, Philip. You're awesome and keep it up, man, because I think the sky's the limit. You can definitely do a lot more. Um, Albert says, you think Facebook shops would be good for us? Um, I don't know. I mean, Facebook shops, they have potential, but for the type of drop shipping that we do on Facebook Marketplace, it's better just to sell as an individual. It's a lot easier. Um, the Facebook shops just complicate it and haven't really been working the way we want them to. 
So if you're interested in selling on Facebook Marketplace, I would suggest just logging in with your, your Facebook account, clicking on Marketplace and selling from there and not setting up these shops because um, it just gets complicated. Um, having to put a say that... <clears throat> okay, Kim Blue says, do you think that having to put a city we ship from on Facebook Marketplace limits who can see listings since it's only a 500 mile radius? No, um, I've been able to look I mean, in my account, um, you know, I put my location as wherever I am. I think it's still set somewhere in California and I'm still seeing listings from outside of California. So I think it's, it's as long as you hit the shipping option, it's available to people throughout the United States. And of course I'm shipping to people who don't, who are nowhere near uh, Los Angeles as well. So yeah, I mean, I have people buying from all over the United States. Uh, okay. Abigail says, AutoDS doesn't download on my Chromebook. Is there anything I need to do before logging into eBay on my new iPad? So you need, I think you're talking about the Chrome extension. Chrome extensions don't work on Chromebooks. I thought, I'm not sure about that. Um, and I know they didn't work on iPads, but I think they're going to start working on iPads. Maybe. I don't know. If you're going to be running a dropshipping business, I really recommend you get a computer. Um, wait, I don't know. Why didn't it download onto a Chromebook? Let me check this real quick. I don't want to give you wrong information. Do Chrome extensions work on Chromebooks? You can transform your Chromebook into a virtual positive. Yeah, it should work on a Chromebook. So I apologize. For some reason, I didn't think it did. But yeah, it should work. I'm not sure why it wouldn't work. So I would download the Chrome extension for your Chromebook. And do Chrome extensions work on iPad? I think they work on the new iPad. It says no, but I think they work on the new one. But I'm not sure about that. Anyway. Um, oh yeah. Second part of your question was, um, is there anything I need to do before logging into eBay on my new iPad? It shouldn't be an issue, Abigail. Um, cause you're not doing, again, you can log in to your eBay account from different computers. That's fine. It's just a small red flag and the small red flag is more like a yellow flag. If you have too many flags, that's when eBay gets concerned. So if you're like changing IP address, changing cookies, changing uh, your address, like all these things are changing, the eBay is like, whoa, what's up? But eBay knows you're going to log in from different locations. You know, every time I log in on public Wi-Fi, it's a new IP address. So um, they they know that that's a reality. So I wouldn't wouldn't be concerned about that. Uh, just... Ah, oh, thank you. It's super great to see uh, you're getting out of your own way and facing your fears. I know that's a big problem when you're starting a new business, looking to make money online. There's a lot of fear around it. I know there was for me. I remember starting my own business and kind of thinking to myself like, this is like, is this going to work? Like, I can't imagine myself being someone who is successful, you know, someone who is making money. I definitely couldn't see who I am now back then, like this would have been unbelievable to me. You know what I mean? So you kind of have to not think about it too much and just kind of look at the next step and see, okay, I know people have done it and this is what they've done. This is the first step and this is the second step and this is the third step. Let me just get there and not really concentrate on how overwhelming it is looking into the future and looking where like the big picture, like where things are ending up and how astronomically huge that whole process seems like in order to get there. You just kind of have to get out of your own way, exactly the way you said it. Thank you, Kevin, for a reminder to hit the thumbs up button. We have a lot of questions here, guys, and I'm trying to get through them as quickly as possible. I do have to cut, I'm only gonna be able to go about a half hour today, um, which I really apologize for. I try to go for a full hour every single week, so I know I'm throwing you guys off. You know, I'm doing a different time, not doing as long as normal, but you know, some weeks, you know, I just, I just, I just, uh, the important thing is I'm here for you guys, right? Just trying to get here as much as I can. 
Can I do retail drop shipping on Facebook shops? You can, but I don't really like shops because Facebook Marketplace is so much more powerful. You're going to get access to so many customers on Facebook Marketplace. You don't have to get them to your Facebook shop. Facebook Marketplace is really the way to go. Um, yeah, I think that is true, Andrew. But again, the problem with shops is that you now have to get people to visit your shop. Now, there's supposed to be a way f- to be able to put your shop item, your shop items onto Facebook Marketplace, but I think for this deal, you actually have to get them to visit your shop, and that integration with Facebook Marketplace isn't even really working that well yet, um, or at all, so really just stick to Facebook Marketplace. Uh, David... L. Lowry, you can send me an email, paul at pauljlipsky.com, and we could talk about that and what your, your needs are more privately. Um, hey, Omar. Doing great, man. Love your photo. Oh. Okay, I didn't. I don't know why it's not compatible with Chromebooks. Sorry to hear that. Uh, it's it's probably not going to work with your iPad then. Um, so I would you got got to get a a computer then, a laptop. Okay. Hey, I have advice. I have five to six products with good views. Um, people are asking me if it's available. I say it is, and that's all. Completely normal. You got to move on. Okay. You're going to get this all the time on Facebook Marketplace. It's annoying. Just forget about it because <clears throat> it's just part of the game. Focus on the next item, get more items listed up, and then concentrate on getting more sales. Yeah, I do. Um, are you better off choosing products from Zeke if the seller is in the United States? I'm hesitant to list products if the seller isn't in the United States. No, you can do either one. Either one. It doesn't. If they're not in the USA, that doesn't matter, as long as the products that you're able to buy are from the United States. Uh, but if they're making good sales and they don't live in the United States, you're going to make great sales too, living in the United States. Yes, it's, uh, pretty much like that. I mean, that does happen where it's up and down. Some days it's like you get a ton of sales, and other days it's like, whoa, what? What? It's definitely a little bit slower. So that's very, very normal, Chris. Thanks, Jay. That's uh, very classy of you. Uh, what do I do if Facebook Marketplace sales slow down? Uh, exactly what you said. So the first thing I would do is list more items, see what's popular right now. Again, Facebook Marketplace, they're freaking telling you, list back to school items. I've been saying that for a month. Facebook Marketplace is saying it right now. That's what you should be listing. Uh, back to school items, list those up for sale. And then if that's not working, if you want to try some other things, yeah, you can reduce your margins, lower your prices a bit, but let's not make this a race to the bottom. There's plenty of margin with Facebook Marketplace, plenty of profit to be made. You don't need to, you know, sc- you know, scrape by and have super low prices. I do not have a Walmart drop shipping store. There are some very good reasons for that, which I've made a whole video about with Dropship, with sorry, with Tyler's Take, formerly Dropship Tyler. Uh that's that's on our ch- my channel. He just made a video recently that I'm going to react to, I think. I haven't watched it yet. I've been dying to watch it, where he talks about how Walmart dropshipping is dead. I'm kind of eager to see what that's about, because he was doing really well with it. The reason I never did Walmart dropshipping was, there's a few reasons. One, with Walmart dropshipping, it's very hard to get approved to do it. I am pretty confident I could have. I did apply once and got denied, which happens to a lot of people. You got to appeal it. But at that point, I said, you know what? I'm doing enough with my other stores. I don't want to spread myself out too thin. And, you know, if I'm not able to get approved for for Walmart dropshipping, I think a lot of my students who would really want to do it wouldn't be able to get approved either. So I think it's just a very messy process getting approved. Um, And there's a lot of other problems with it as well that Tyler really highlighted in that interview. And I'm probably going to make another video about it as well. Uh, why you is moving, running from something, you know, you can run forever. 
pain follows. Pain follows. Okay. Um, uh, I don't have much experience with Facebook stealth accounts. Aside from the fact that once you make a Facebook stealth account, uh, if it's a new account, you're probably not going to have the shipping option. So in general, it's not really a great idea to do that. Um, you can buy them, but I'm always skeptical about buying accounts from people. It seems kind of like sketchy and, you know, there's really no guarantee that they would work. Um, I'm afraid my prices are too high. Yeah, so, you know, list is up for sale. And if they're not selling, lower the prices. And it's okay to make less than you want or even nothing, just so you can get the experience of selling some items. Say, okay, this is how it works. This is how items sell. This is how I fill the orders. And then prove to the marketplace you're selling on that, yeah, you are able to fulfill orders. You are able to get customers their items. You make customers happy, and they're, they're going to send you more traffic. They're going to send you more sales. Any tips on what to do to make this a full-time job to live off of? Uh, treat it like one. You know, that's the best advice I can give you that that most people will not follow. Um, because when I started doing drop shipping, I was working a full-time job and I was working a second full-time job, which was drop shipping. You know, I don't think that's completely necessary, but you really have to have the mindset to do that. Um, because I put so much time and effort into it, into learning it, research. Oops. Sorry about that. There we go to learning it, into researching it, into doing it, and just trial and error, trial and error, trial and error, and talking to people, just putting a lot of time into it. I treat it like a second full-time job. I was working 80 hours a week when you add, add both the jobs together. And because I took it seriously like a full-time job, it became a full-time income. I was then able to automate, outsource, so I'm no longer working full-time in it, no longer, no longer working 40 hours a week on any of my stores or even all of my stores combined. And the reason I was able to do that was because I put the time in up front and the effort and the focus on it and really treated it seriously. But if you don't want to do that, that's cool too, because selling on eBay, selling on Facebook Marketplace is definitely possible just as a side hustle. Put a few hours in a week, you can still make good money doing it. Really, as a side hustle, it could be a life-changing amount of money that you can get out of it with just a few hours a week and you don't have to treat it like a full-time thing if you don't want that. Okay. Look up um, a BCE, Blue Care Express. Do you consider worth it to do small photo editing like those stickers saying free shipping, etc.? cetera, says Juan? Uh, I never thought it was worth it because it took so much time. You're going to see a lot of people, especially on eBay, do this, where on eBay, they'll have a listing and it'll say in the corner, free shipping, or might have a border around it, or uh, tax-free. You don't really see that anymore. But um, you used to be able to see that. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of stores doing that, doing really, really well. But one, it's technically against eBay's rules, or it was the last time I looked. You're not allowed to modify the photos like that by putting like watermarks or logos on it. People do it and get away with it, but it's technically against the rule, the rules. And second, it just takes time to do that. And um, I don't think it takes too much time to do that. So I never bothered to do it. Uh, Marjorie says, how many items do you need to sell to get out of below standard on eBay? That depends on how below standard you are. Um, I can't give you an answer without looking, but you should be able to see, you can do the math, you know, go into your... Um, your what's it called i'm blanking on it go into where it tells you that you're below standard what is that called oh, i forgot the name of it and then you can see uh it'll tell you how many uh orders out of how many orders and you can do the math and figure out how many more you have to sell to not be below standard um Try going to all your listings uh, because you do have to opt into it. It's not automatic. So I'm on my all listings page here and I saw it. Um, and you do have to click get started and accept official rules. 
It was a pop-up, so I can't send a direct link to it. But that's it. That's what it looks like. Whoa, Dollar Bill Hustle starting van life September 1st. I'll see you on the road, man. That's exciting. Thumbs up from Jay. Thanks for the $2 super chat, man. Appreciate that. Buy some more uh, protein shakes with that or something. And thank you, Sean, one of our moderators, for the reminder to only ask your question once. We don't need spamming. Yeah, in general, if you spam, that's the only real time I skip questions. If I see you asking the same question like 10 times. Um... JNA says, when you are drop shipping and you're going to buy the product for the person, how do you know what's address when shipping it? So they're going to buy from you on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. You're going to get from that marketplace the address for the customer. You need to get the address because even if you had the item at home, you would need the address to put on the box and ship it to them. So you have the address. So when you buy it from um, your supplier, let's say it's Walmart, during checkout, you'd put as a shipping address, the buyer shipping address. That's it. Just copy and paste it. Um, I've heard listings with no software improves views. I don't know what you mean. Um... We try to do 20 a day. Okay, answer that. How do you find most of your hot products? What is the most effective way? So if you're talking about eBay, I actually talk about this in my free eBay webinar, which is linked up in the description of this video. So click on that free eBay training and I actually show you in that how to do product research. If you're talking about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, then again, get that free ebook because I actually talk about product research in that ebook as well. So that's what I would watch. And that's what I would uh, look for. Sweet. Okay, thanks for the $4.99 super chat. Really appreciate that, man. I like your dogs. Uh, have you looked into drop shipping as a Walmart marketplace seller? Uh, I have. I answered this before, but I'll answer it again. Uh, to show my appreciation for the $5 super chat. Appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah, I have looked at doing it and I actually applied, but was denied. I did send in a quick appeal and I never heard back from them. Now I did research after that and I'm pretty confident I could have gotten approved if I went through the appeal process the right way. I was speaking to some friends who do this for like a full-time thing. They help people get approved. They said, yeah, we definitely could have helped you. Um, but I never went through with it and I'm kind of glad I didn't because from what I'm hearing it's, be, it's become like a nightmare to drop ship on Walmart. It's become very, very difficult uh, with their returns, with a lot of their policies. It's really not drop ship friendly. So I'm kind of glad I wasn't invested in that and just kind of, because then it would have distracted me from what's already working like Facebook Marketplace and eBay. And then I wouldn't have had uh, as much time to devote to something. And then Walmart would have eventually went away, it seems like. So I'm kind of glad about that. Um, I'm going to be reacting to Tyler's video soon about how he talks about how Walmart dropshipping is dead. I think that's what the video is about. And kind of giving my reaction to it um, because I'm kind of curious curious what happened there. Uh, it's based on margin, not based on dollar amount. Because something like a $20 item, not going to make much, even if it's a high margin, but something like a $300 item. It might be a small margin, but I could still make a lot of money on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's exactly it. There were so many problems with it that it just scared me away. I mean, no marketplace and platform is, is perfect, but that one just seemed like a big mess. Oh, there we go. Okay. I mean, you got to let me know how you did that. So my Instagram is still down. It's going to be back soon. I was going to tell you to DM me on Instagram. Let me know how you got that to work. Um, maybe like, I don't know, email me if you want to, paul at pauljlipsky.com. Say like, uh, if you want to, because I would love to hear how you were able to do that. Um, seems like it's only available to some people though. Uh, 
I'm not sure what you mean by that homemade eBay website. Yeah, I love Zeek Analytics storage. I use it for eBay dropshipping and Facebook Marketplace dropshipping video about that coming out soon um, because it's really helped me does product research. Zeek Analytics is a software for product research and it's really powerful software for that. And uh, I've been using it for a long time. It's really helped with product research. All right, so the quick rundown of credit cards is, well, it depends. If you're drop shipping from Walmart, get the Walmart credit card. If you're drop shipping from Amazon, get the Amazon Prime credit card. Those will give you 5% back on your orders. You definitely need those if you're gonna be drop shipping from those websites. Otherwise, I get the Spark Business 2% card. That one gives me 2% back on all my orders. One of their cards, I think it's that one, it no longer reports on your personal credit any longer. I just found out, which is really great because uh, you, I don't know, you may or may not want that depending on your credit score. Um, I didn't know that. So my 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 Capital One card is reported on my personal credit report, which I didn't know. And uh, I kept racking up, I kept using up a lot of my credit. I have like, uh, I think $50,000 in credit on that one. I was using up a lot of it all the time and just letting the auto pay take over. I, or I think I would pay it off once and then the auto pay would take over. Um, and uh, I didn't know I was that having such a high usage on that card was affecting my personal credit. So now I'm paying that card off more often. And in the process of looking into that, I discovered that the new Capital One cards, for what I read, but you should check with Capital One if you're gonna get it, that doesn't report on your personal credit. So uh, yeah, lesson learned. Hopefully I can get my credit score back up now. Um, okay, cool. Can I do print on demand on Facebook Marketplace? Yeah, I don't see why not. As long as you can get the item shipped out within three days. Uh, the fastest way I would say is Facebook Marketplace drop shipping. I mean, it's just so easy to start, so easy to get some sales going. Um, that's what I would start with. Thank you, Suzanne. I'm doing great. I don't do Shopify, so I'm not not too sure about that. Um, Jay says, I took Paul's course a year ago, quit my job five months later. My tip, hire VAs quickly. Don't procrastinate. I wish I wouldn't have. And I think that's the advice that I would give and a lot of other people give as well. Um, the biggest regret everyone who has is uh, not getting started sooner. So Jay with a super chat here. Thank you, Jay. Jay Wright. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Always happy to help out. Um, okay. I've already gone over. I'm going to try to go for a few more minutes, try to really stretch this out as long as I can. Um, I think I just got maybe like two more minutes. So let's see. Okay, don't do that. I'm skipping the ones that I just, I can't answer because I don't have experience with. Uh, back to school items are going to be big. That's the biggest category. So I have a whole video about this coming out Sunday. So do not miss that video, son, uh, uh, Kobe, because I'll show you exactly what I plan to be selling in the month of August. So subscribe to the channel. Do not miss that video. Uh, thanks, Jay. <laughs> Trying to trying to win out with the biggest super chat. Thanks for the reminder. Answer that. Yeah, you can't get rid of Zeke Analytics. is is awesome. All right, guys. So that is it for this week. Thanks so much for all your great questions. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks everyone for the super chats. Really appreciate that. And uh, thanks for letting me know how well you're doing with the courses and with drop shipping. Everyone, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And I do these every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern time usually. And if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Bye for now.